It's been one full day and five hours since I visited this nice little island, and I've come to one conclusion. I need a weapon. Anyways, welcome back everyone to the King's Mouth Challenge for Project Zomboid, where Claudette's mission is to kill every single zombie on the island. Last episode, we moved our way all the way from this small bungalow here, all the way down to this nice little island, which I'm gonna make my base. Though now that we do have a base of operations, we need a couple of things. Number one, we need a bag. And number two, I need a weapon. And I think our best chance of getting a weapon is going to be the military base right up in Quadrant 2. As it stands right now, Claudette is in no shape to take on an entire military base or even penetrate its defenses because all I have for a weapon is one hammer. So what I'm going to do instead is go out, loot a little bit, get a few weapons, and once I do have a couple, we can go out and really show them what's for. But before I do any of that, I need to manage my damn inventory, as I did pick up quite a few supplies, and uh, moving it around is going to be the best for me. So let's go drop off some stuff, and we will probably loot some of the nearby homes, and then, as soon as we wake up tomorrow, I have a spot for us to go check out. Just like this. So I can have enough inventory space to go out and loot the nearby neighborhood. Let's hope we get ourselves some kind of bag and maybe a baseball bat in one of the nearby rooms. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see what we have inside. Aside from more zombies to bash in, of course. That's gonna be the norm. <laughs> Okay, now it's cleared out, so let's see what we have. Anyways, we have headphones, some loose clothing, a bandage, which I will take just in case, a metal bar, which is a lot better than my hammer, even more non-perishable supplies, and we even have the ingredients to a peanut butter and a jelly sandwich. You know what? I think I'll help myself to that. Because Clotta is bored, and a little bit anxious, which I can go help with some cigarettes, and making a nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of these materials. We can go out, loot the second house, and then kill the entire neighborhood, because why the hell not? There's around 20, I would say, in the area, so it should be no problem for me, especially with a metal bar and ball peen hammer. And we might find even more weapons inside this next tome here. Okay, never mind. This house is for sale. And when I meant that house, I actually meant this one. <laughs> it's fine. At least I won't have to worry about clearing it out for zombies then. Thankfully, this one looks a lot better loot-wise as well, as we already have ourselves a saucepan, which I can use as a weapon. One soon-to-be-dead zombie. A double-barrel shotgun with a walking stick. Okay, and an extra gun inside. Wow. <laughs> okay, these people were packing. Not only do we have the walking stick, but we have ourselves a shotgun with improved iron sights, and inside the other one, we have a Mini-14 rifle with three boxes of ammo. You know what? I'm feeling kind of silly right now, so how about we pack up this Mini-14 rifle and we use it on the nearby zombie population? We only have three boxes worth, but that should be more than enough to get some damage done, and I'll finish out the rest with our hammer. And hopefully, by the time we're done killing all the zombies, it will be dark enough out for me to get some sleep and finally move on to the police station. Yeah, wow, this place was so worth it. Oh my, there's another gun case <laughs> with another M14. <laughs> okay, okay, this is fantastic. We're gonna be overloaded, but that's fine as I can just drop it off at my base. We also have another aluminum baseball bat, which is probably gonna be my main weapon, but that does seem to be it here, which I am completely fine with. By the way, I don't think I'm gonna kill the zombies just yet because, uh, yeah, it's getting really late, and I don't want to risk it. We're going to drop it off at, at, at our base, though. And when we wake up, we can finally make it over to the police station, and then I will use my guns. And hopefully we'll get it back by then as well. For now, I'm going to head back, go to sleep, and see you all tomorrow. And like a true champion, Claudette wakes up early at 5.40 a.m. We are pretty bored, but we've been bored for a while, but that should change very soon. As you see, I've packed my lunch and my, uh, my main course meal for the day, the M14 
and three sandwiches, which should hopefully get us through. I'm also going to be packing my hammer, my screwdriver, and my metal bar for melee weapons, keeping my aluminum baseball bat, my vitamins, and lighter inside my fanny pack. Don't ask me how I can fit that aluminum baseball bat in the fanny pack. I just can. But yeah, right now, we are going to be heading our way towards the military base. But before I do, I do have a couple of places that I want to visit beforehand. And that is the school right down there for a potential school bag, and lastly, a small police station right here for some extra firepower to take on the military base. I'm expecting there's going to be a few zombies up there, so I don't think a single M14 with a terrible aiming skill is going to cut it, because we are default with our skill only being level 3, which is not the best when you're using a rifle, but I will still take it. I'll take my sandwiches, and we will head out right off and at it. The, the more time I sit around, the more time I waste. So let's get a move on. We're going to be ignoring most of the zombies nearby because I will kill them later. Right now, all I care about is getting to the school so I can carry a bag that I can fill up with weapons and ammo later. So out of the way, chuckle nuts. <laughs> I'm out of here. is thankfully as easy as moving from point A to point B. This right here, this massive building, is definitely the school. I've brought on a few uh, unwanted guests with me, but I can lose them pretty easily. So we're going to see if any of these doors are open and get the hell out of this uh, general area. Of course, they're both locked. That's fine, because we have an extra door right down here. And if that fails, we have windows. I hope there's not going to be too many. Oh, there's quite a few zombies inside. That's fine. I think they're all upstairs, so all I need to do is be very quick in finding a school bag like that and getting the hell out of here before anything else happens. I'll be back here later. Don't worry about me. I just really wanted that. Oh, nice jump scare. Now I have to get the hell out of here without, you know, getting jumped by too many zombies, which is easy. Extremely easy. I'm so happy that none of these uh, guys are sprinters because uh, my life would be a lot worse if they were. Yeah, I'm not even going to kill them yet. We're just going to move in, move out, <laughs> move out to the police station right here. And there's going to be a small armory for me to loot. And more importantly, there should be more weaponry. So I'm going to have to kill that massive group of zombies, aren't I? Yeah, we'll go lead them in through the windows and deal with them the Claudette way. The silent Claudette way, because if I shoot my gun right now, I would attract a lot more zombies than I'd be willing to fight. So, let's see what these idiots got. Oh my, that's quite a bit, but that's fine because this police station is a perfect environment to lead zombies around and get them killed, because there are no zombies in here. For the most part, that is. <laughs> and there are a bunch of, oh, windows. If it, if, it, if it gets bad, I might have to use that. I might have to use our gun. Everything is going to be fine, though. If I am good at anything, it's navigating around walking stupid zombies and avoiding fence lunges like that. Time for a montage, then. Man, it's crazy what a single hardware tool can really do to a massive group of zombies. But that's going to be most of them taken care of. Now that we've dealt with the trash, I can go and loot the armory. Wherever the hell that's going to be. We're also going to be checking the desk and stuff nearby, just in case. Wow, you really scared me, even when I had my little radar on. I'm kind of surprised. But yeah, okay, that's the armory. And the best part is, even if it's locked, I have the skeleton key which is my ball peen hammer and screwdriver combo. With that, all I need to do is disassemble the main armory door and we are in. Let's see what we got. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, the military base is not gonna know what hit it. Oh my I. That's a lot of ammo right there, man. I don't even have enough space to carry most of this. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop my mini 14 here. And what I'm going to do is eat my peanut butter jelly sandwich packed full of nutrition. And I am going to pick my favorite weapons out of this. And I think right now my favorite weapon is going to be a shotgun. More importantly, the M950 shotgun because it holds seven uh, shotgun shells. 
I mean, look at this mammoth of a weapon. It even has the little, uh, the, the little barrel shroud on it, which gives it some real nice drip. That is a zombie slayer, and I will be taking that with me. Alongside that, though, I think we're gonna go grab ourselves a simple Glock 17 pistol. We have no holster, but I did kill a few police officers right outside the front entrance, so that's gonna be no problem. And alongside that, I think we get one silly gun, which is gonna be the Henry Big Boy 45 ACP lever action. Oh yeah, with these three guns, we're gonna have no problem in clearing out that area, especially with all of this ammo. So before I do anything else, let's go grab that holster and see if I can find any other weapon slings around the area. That might not be the only armory, and if it isn't, I want more. But aside from a water cooler, it seems like we're gonna be finding a garbage bag, a few flashlights and a hand torch, which I will take for emergency situations, which is actually it for the police station. I thought it was the entire building, but I don't think it is. I think this might be a police station slash a uh, fire station, like codependent building. So we might find ourselves a couple of nice melee weapons here as well. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, this place is definitely a fire station. Does it have the axes to back it up? No, it has basic hardware supplies instead. Still pretty cool. Is that a skateboard? <laughs> Hold on here. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, I think Claudette could definitely shred it. We'll take that with us. And while we can use it as a weapon, I think it'd be a lot cooler for me to skate into the military base with a massive arsenal, arsenal on my back. So we will take that. And yeah, there's no actual fire axes in here. We'll go grab our weapons. We'll go grab the holster off the dead bodies and we will move on down. It's only 1050 PM. So we are making fantastic time for it. Now we're ready, and to start off this big old train, we have ourselves a lever action, which I will switch over to the shotgun afterwards, and then use our pistol if it hits the fan. We are currently carrying 9 boxes of shotgun shells, 13 boxes of 9mm, 2 peanut butter jelly sandwiches, a skateboard, a flashlight, and uh, an extra shell holder that I wanted to actually upgrade on my M950 before I do anything else, removing the choke tube so we get the best uh, damage out of it. But bam, we have everything ready. The reason why I am starting off with 45 ACP is because I only have 24 shells. And as soon as we head out, we're gonna pull out the skateboard as well and move our way down to the military base. I am crossing my fingers, I am begging, I am pleading that I don't immediately trip, hit the ground, and die doing this because there is a very good chance that I die doing this, but for the style points of rolling up to a military base, it's worth it. <laughs> oh hell yeah, Claudette! Aw oh, damn it, I went on the grass. Uh, you know, it, it's been a while since I've been on the skateboard, okay? I'm a little bit rusty. You know, the one thing I'm not rusty at, though, is using weaponry. Actually, I'm also rusty at that. We'll kill the zombies and we'll properly ride the skateboard, avoiding the grass this time. Man, it hurts to be this freaking cool. <laughs> okay, there are quite a few zombies down here and also a few vehicles, so we're gonna avoid that very skillfully because if I, if, I, if I fall right now, that is going to be the end of me. This is actually kind of nerve wracking, but we are a skateboard legend. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Don't mind me, guys. Trust me, trust me, trust me. We're gonna be out of here. <laughs> There's a few vehicles in the way, but as long as I, okay, that's a lot of zombies. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off and we're gonna move just normally. Also, is that a military bag? I'll remember where you're at right now and I will grab that for later, but there's gonna be um, a few zombies here, but nothing that I can't handle because I, oh, oh my, is that, a, is that an M16 on, on a ghillie suit zombie? Ho ho ho, this is gonna be a good day. I'm kind of sad that I left my skateboard behind, but we'll grab it later. Right now, I wanna make a beeline all the way towards the armory, fire off my guns in front of the armory, and that way I can get all of the zombies in one place, so I can just take them out in one fell swoop. That's the plan anyways. I don't know how well it'll go, but hopefully it'll go well. Man, these zombies are freaking kitted. They got M16s up the wazoo. And another thing I need to remember is where the hell this armory is in the first place. I really should have thought this one through, but we'll go check very briefly. Okay, looking in through each of these places and seeing where they're at. I bet that's the armory. I can see the boarded up windows. Um. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll do it here. This looks like a good spot for it. 
Uh, let's make sure we got a big ol' open field because this is about to hit the fan very quickly. Anyways, I think it's time for old Claudette to get back into the feel of things. Oh, it feels good to be back. And already we are hitting some crazy headshots. <laughs> oh, I missed Claudette. I really did. And now she gets to kill another few thousand zombies. We'll round them up like we usually do. And we will take pot shots, building up our skills to kill. All right, that's it for our lever action. It's time to move up to the shotgun. It is a behemoth. Oh, it is. This might be my new favorite shotgun, Spaz 12. Who? <laughs> Holy crap, the, the, the kick behind this bad boy. All right, uh, I'll be honest. I don't think the military zombies are gonna be much of a threat. <laughs> Yeah, that should really bring them in from far and wide as well. As you see from the minimap, they are slowly making their way towards my location, which is exactly what I want. Oh, and another thing while I am gunning down all of these zombies, I did make one self-imposed rule for this challenge, and that is gonna be uh, the fact that I can't use fire to do my bidding. I want this to be a gun slash melee only clear, so that means no easy way out with the Molotov cocktails, and that way we can get the most accurate estimate of all of these zombies. The population setting that I am running right now is 28 days later peak population for King's Mouth on the challenge. It's Itself. So I am curious to see how many zombies are here because I'll be honest There's not too many zombies in the military base, but that this is kind of like the the dessert right the appetizer To the main course of the resort I wish I could tell you how bad it is because I went through in that area on a couple of test runs And I will be completely honest with you. Hold on. <laughs> I just found it really funny how I just Stomped him out, but I'll be honest with you my game with my computer was running at a solid 5 FPS as soon as I rendered all of the zombies within the resort. It is bad. It is extremely bad. And I am terrified to know how much ammo and zombies I'm gonna have to kill. By the way, we've already killed 200 zombies with our favorite weapon still being the ball peen hammer. Also, I love the shotgun. This is my new favorite shotgun, even just for the barrel shroud drip alone. But yeah, we only got a few more zombies here. I also did kill the big backpack guy right where this guy is, which I will be taking for later, but we'll go clean up the rest of the mess here and look around for that fabled armory. Boom, that is another level of aiming. And already we are at, let's see, bop, 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 level five. <laughs> it is actually insane on how fast I level that bad boy up. But yeah, we'll go grab ourselves a military backpack. Don't you love to see all of that carnage in a parking lot? And while it isn't all of the zombies at the military base, I don't care about killing all of the zombies right now. I want to get the weapons first, and then I can begin with the big stuff. So we'll go check out this building first. Of course, it's locked. That's fine though, because there was an unprotected window and we will see if there are any good supplies here. And already I am spotting none. Yeah, this place is just filled with normal supplies. Absolutely useless to me. I hope you bastards are ready. I'm coming on in now. Stay frosty, Claudette, stay frosty. Now that's what I love to hear. Absolutely nothing. There still are a couple of blips nearby, but I'm gonna turn that off for the element of surprise as I don't really need it right now as I'm not in clear mode. I am just in rough kill mode. We are hungry and we are extremely tired, so I'll help myself to another peanut butter and jelly and I will go check out this nearby building for supplies. It looks like it's just general goods. Uh, we have a hand axe with a tent peg. That's pretty cool, I guess. A pipe wrench. 
I mean, there's cool offices nearby, and there are some zombies with guns on them. I guess you can count that as kind of like a impromptu armory. It's a lot of stuff that I- ooh, actually, never mind. I was about to say it was a lot of stuff that I already had, but that is an M9 bayonet. Ooh, that is a- that is a real stabber weapon if I've seen one. Hell yeah! What else we got on these dead zombies? We got an extra M1911, some more offices, and that really seems to be it here. But we'll go check out this building here. That's where the guns are. I hope I don't need a sledgehammer to enter this damn place. The doors are locked, but that's fine because uh, we have the ultimate lock pick. Okay, these aren't the types that you can actually bash down. So I'm gonna go run back inside, grab that handy dandy uh, hand axe so I can chop down the door and see what we got. We're finally in for hopefully the last time. And we have ourselves a little bit of weaponry, just a tiny amount. Like, I, 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 I'm not saying this with like overzealous confidence, but if I'm finding this much ammo and this many weapon, this, this much weaponry in the front already, I think we get to fight God. <laughs> I'm just saying right now, holy crap. You know, I think out of every single location the actual Zomboid developers have made in official maps, this is the largest armory made. Of course, it's not in actual Knox County, so I'm not sure if you could count it, but you know, it's in the base game and this is by far the largest military armory. Yeah, that's... That, 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 that's quite a few uh, guns and a few bits of ammo. We have sniper rifles, M16s, mini Uzis, M1A1 magazines, gun cleaning kits, so much ammo. I don't even know what to do with uh, MP5 weapon slings. By the way, grabbing that weapon sling is very cool because what I can do now is attach my weapons to that slot and I can have something like a shotgun in the front, and that way, I can have two primary weapons. It's very nice for a gunslinger run such as Claudette here. But um, yeah, I hope this is gonna be more than enough weaponry to fight off the zombies at the resort, and I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Despite being very tired, Claudette had a fantastic day of murder and bloodshed, bringing us up to 250 zombie kills. And once I am done looting this entire place, because I'm definitely Definitely gonna miss stuff. We can go back and we can. Oh my, there's so much here. But yeah, we're gonna grab some weapons next episode. We're gonna clear out the military base, kill every single zombie, and then this place can truly be mine. After that, we can move on to quadrant two, or one, sorry, and then quadrant three, the big finale. Anyways, I'm gonna find a nice place to sleep. So we're gonna go move on over towards the barracks, I think, down this way and we'll go find a nice little bunk bed to sleep on for the night. Of course, there are more zombies on the way. That's fine. I think I can stab them no problem. Holy crap, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> okay, we finally killed them all. Uh, that is why you don't do melee while very tired, by the way, but we have stabbed them all. Now it's time to see what these places are. Okay, I think these are just outhouses, so we can't enter those. But what about these places here? Um, it's a medical facility, but you know what? That's gonna work. These beds are pretty comfy anyways, so it's gonna be perfect for Claudette. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more, especially for next time as I arm myself up to the teeth. Anyways. Peace the hell out, everyone.